Hi, this is Brian from Long Play Cafe, and I want to show you how we grade and price our records here in store. Today we're looking at the Earl Garner record. It's a jazz record from 1956. The original's from 1953. We've got this particular one. It's a reissue. It's mono, 1956, from the U.S. Now, the reason I know that is I will type in the catalog number up in this search bar on our website, Discogs, which happens to be a record sales site, sort of like eBay for record buyers and sellers. So what I've done is I've typed that in and then I searched the record and I'm going to go back and you'll see the basic information when I first type in and I chose this particular record, found it, and you come down here and you'll see some things in the notes and information about the label on the record, the uh, cover itself. But the most important thing is the matrix runout groove where you'll see these codes. And on this record, my code ends with the 1F and the 1C. So I know I have the right record. There are 30 different records out here to choose from. And, but you'll see the catalog numbers are varied from country to country, and so are the labels. You'll just go out, hunt, and look for this information once you find the information, and you may not. So you just go with the closest one you can. Um, but once you find the information, you can come over here where they do the um, for sale. You also have some nice stats on like the lowest price and the highest price of this particular record. But I click on the for sale to see what these things are going for. And I can see that of the eight records that are for sale, or 10 records for sale here, there are people that are selling it between $3 and $15. Um, and then you'll start to notice these weird things, these, these codes that people put in here. Basically, this is the grading. But how do they get that? Well, Discogs gives you the definitions, and you'll see... There's mint, near mint, very good plus, very good. Then there's a good and a good plus, and then there's the fair and poor. Fair and poor, in my shop, become a bowl, and even sometimes the good, becomes a bowl or a clock. Very good, the very good plus, and what a lot of people out here are now doing, very good plus plus, are the things I'm selling to people. Um, you'll almost never see me do a near mint. I'll put near mint minus, but never near mint, never mint minus, and never mint. Take these gratings with a grain of salt. Go in and read what they say and realize that records are produced and they're produced by machines and human beings. You will never find an absolutely perfect record in every way. Anyway, so what I'm going to do is come back over here. I'm going to look at the different gradings. Now mine is definitely a very good plus, both the sleeve and the media. And luckily this gentleman, like I do, uh, uses this very good plus plus, which means it's a little more. I mean, there's no grading, but people understand. So I'll use a very good plus plus on things. And he's priced it at $10 plus a $5 shipping fee. So that's basically how we grade and price our records here. That's how most people do it. So if you have any questions, get a hold of me, uh, email from the website or Facebook, or you can do some comments in this video, whatever you want. I'm here. Hope to see you down at Long Play soon, and we look forward to seeing you.